What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So in this video, we will be looking at how you can get easier opponents in top 11 2024. So let's get right into it. First, I want to show you guys uh, I'm placed first in the league and my players have been performing really well. And this is all due to the fact that this season I tried one thing and it got me uh, something uh, very, very easy opponents for this season. And uh, I've won all of my, uh, you know, matches and all that. And a part of that belongs to because I got such easier opponents. Let me show you guys all of my league matches until now. So let's say over here, as you can see, this guy was 33% uh, for me. Then there was this guy who was again 35%. Uh, then there's this guy who was again 35%. And... Throughout the season, almost everyone that I've encountered have was like 35, 40, 70%. And okay, so this was the first match of the league. And as you can see, he is 58%. So how did I get such easier opponents this season so that I'm able to dominate them as much as I can this season? Because uh, as you guys can see, I've scored like uh, 50 plus uh, goals with a difference of. And I've only conceded one. How did I get such easier opponents this season? So the thing is, it lies in your uh, squad strength and not uh, typically just your uh, starting 11 squad, but the, uh, the other reserves and the substitute players as well. So when we go ahead and have a look at my squad, you will see that uh, some of the players in my starting 11 are super strong, uh, which are uh, basically which is my right wing, due to which I play, uh, you know, on the right flank, hard attacking with a mixed uh, passing style. and. You can see all of my players around the right wing are 120 percent or around that and my attack is very strong but if you have a look at my other team uh, they're all pretty normal the starting 11 but once you have a look at my substitutes and reserves you'll be shocked to see that all of them are very very uh, like uh, mediocre to bad players you can see a player of here is 24 percent then our, uh, this goalkeeper over here is 29 percent and this is uh, around midway throughout the season. So, I mean, when the season started, they were even lower than that. So, once your squad strength and your uh, substitute and your reserves are quite low, it brings down the average qual qual quality of your team, uh, due to which you are placed in players that are uh, not so good and by which you can trick them by having a very strong offense like I have and dominate them. Because uh, even if you get scored like 2-3 goals, your offense is going to be so strong against those average teams that you're going to get way more goals than that. Uh, even if uh, you have a look at this guy who's a substitute and a reserve, this guy I got in an event and then there's these two guys which I also uh, got from, I guess, through an event or something like uh, with the lucky ticket and whatever. So all these players, uh, the other players that are good in my team are, I have come on from uh, my youth academy which i would probably sell at the end of the season because next season i also want easier opponents and hence uh, you know be placed in the batch it plays in a lot with easier opponents which i can dominate later and after the end of the season uh, these players will again lose 20 percent so eventually i will have players that are all one stars one percent and brought me into a league which is even easier than this one also, once you have uh, young players that are, uh, you know, of lower quality, what you want to be doing is that you want to be playing, putting the lowest of the players into like the substitutions by the end of the season so that when the team is calculating, uh, you know, uh, your team's uh, average qual quality, then they want to be looking at uh, the lowest possible players in order to bring down the average as much as possible. And I assume that the game looks at around 13 to 14 top players and uh, calculates their average quality after which the team places you in uh, the recommended uh, you know league so what you want to be doing is that you want to be placing these lowest quality players as high up as possible uh, by the end of the season in order to be drafted into a easier league next season so yeah that is it for the video guys that is how you guys can uh, get into an easier league it is not always about uh, you know just pumping quality of your team you can also win trophies by getting drafted into an easier league and that is uh, something that quite a lot of pro players do as well so yeah that is it for the video guys until next time peace out